flew into Buffalo, New York to play some 510 New Year's Day poker with the Buffalo Bills. I met up with them earlier in 2023 and made over $8,300. This time I brought my good friend and fellow poker vlogger Rampage to jump in on the action. But before we get to the poker, Gabe Davis hooked us up with some tickets to watch the game. Shout out to you, Gabe. The seats were absolutely phenomenal. And of course, what would a football trip be without a few servings of some game day wings? Ethan and I also hit the slopes an hour south of Buffalo and had a few funny moments there as well. <laughs> Yard sale. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Once we're ready to start the first poker session of 2024, we're welcomed by a lot of familiar faces from the last session, but also quite a bit of new ones as well. We sit down with $3,000 and speaking of familiar faces, we waste no time coolering our good buddy Dawson with a nine high flush over his eight high flush. GG's Dawson, GG's. Oh, that's just brutal. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's true. Right off the bat, I think. And number one starts off with none other than Gabe Davis on the button, putting out that $50 button straddle. I was under the gun and had the 20 bucks out there. I put in the call, Doyle on my left calls. We got Spencer Brown in there and Ethan Rampage Poker makes it 150 to go. Gabe calls and the rest of the table follows suit. We are going multi-way to a flop, which comes 5-4 deuce with two hearts. Flop myself the open-ended straight draw. The action checks over to Spencer, who makes a very respectable bet of $25. Much respect to you, sir. And Ethan calls, and uh, we are all going to put in the call. No one is getting out of there for $25. Bucks. Off to the turn we go, which comes the nine of spades. I check my open-ended straight draw, and Doyle now fires out for $100, to which Spencer snap calls. Ethan folds faster than a lawn chair with a fat guy sitting in it, and I'm going nowhere. Put in the call. Off to the river we go, which comes the eight of hearts. Hearts, bang, we river the straight. The only caveat is, is it brings in the front door heart draw. So I'm gonna play this tricky and check it over to my opponents. Doyle fires out now for $300 and I'm definitely putting in the call against him. However, Spencer makes it $1,050 and he looks super confident. So when the action's back over to me, I don't think about it for too long before folding my cards. Yes, I folded the straight after making it on the river. What was the point of getting there if I'm just gonna fold well? I mean, this raise is never not a flush. I mean, Spencer, if you can correct me down in the comments, are you ever raising here with like two pair or something like that? I have no idea. I fold the straight. Doyle on my left turns over eight four of spades, which is kind of good news, kind of bad news because he doesn't show any hearts. Spencer pretty quickly mucks his cards, which looks kind of weak but he later confirms that he did in fact have the flush. So he made a good fold there. At least that's what he's uh, letting us to believe. What are you doing? You didn't even have a hand. In hand number two, we pick up king nine of clubs from the cutoff. There's a bunch of limps to us. I make it $55 to go. And Doyle, AKA the toilet. I asked him what he wanted his nickname for this vlog. He said the toilet, cause he makes a lot of flushes. He makes it 650 and he rips his entire stack all in. The action folds back around to us. Let's go Wolf. For the content. For the content. For the content. <laughs> the what is it exactly? I get needled saying uh, we got a call here for content and uh, no fear. King nine suited is definitely good enough on the button here to put in the call. Have a little bit of a gamble. He turns over pocket jacks, which has us in a world of hurt. But good news for us is we get five cards to improve. Let's run the board out. For the content. For the content. Bang. Oh, no. Oh, nothing. 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 Not still. Oh, eight. Eight or two. Ocho. Oh, 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 yes. yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. This next hand, we look down at Ace Jack offsuit from the cutoff. Gabe opens it up to $75 from early position. Two callers over to myself. We got Greg and Dirty on my right. I decide not to three bet Gabe here, considering he was in early position. I make it 75, just putting in the call. We got the toilet on my left who puts in the call. And look at that, Ethan decides to rip his entire $3,000 stack in the middle. If there's one person on the table capable of doing this with a bluff, it's definitely Ethan. He has uh, no conception of what $3,000 means these days. You know, when you make a lot of money, that tends to happen. The action folds back around to me, which is surprising. I thought Gabe might have a super strong hand and snap Ethan off, making our life easier. But now it's a little tricky. I have ace jack offsuit. Ethan definitely could be doing this with like pocket fives, pocket sevens and uh, we'd be flipping. However, you could also have ace queen, ace king. You know, he's capable of having a good hand every once in a while. With that being said, I decide to take a more passive route here and fold ace jack off. So you're trying to pick a better spot. The toilet folds as well, and Ethan turns over his cards for us to see, 
and it's seven deuce, which means we have to pay out the bounty. Yes, we are playing the seven deuce game here in Buffalo and Ethan is gonna take that one down. A huge needle for me because not only would we have been a massive favorite against his seven deuce, but we have to pay out 25 additional dollars to Ethan for the insane bluff. Nice hand, sir, nice hand. This next hand's a fun one. I looked on an ace queen of hearts from the plus one and make it $55 to go. Few calls over to Gabe who makes it $250. The action's back over to me. I decide ace queen suited is good enough just to call. I don't wanna make it like seven or 800 and open it back up to Gabe back raising. So I decided to put in that 250 and who else but T-Bass, the kicker on the bills, puts in the call. Vandy's out of the way in between those two opponents. Off to a flop we go, which comes ace jack four with one heart. Pretty decent for myself. So when Gabe checks it over to me, out of position against T-Bass, I decide to start with a check and he fires out for $500. Gabe folds his cards and later tells us he had pocket fives. Let's see how that turns out for him and the action's back over to me. $500 is a pretty big bet. I have top pair. There's not too much more money behind. $1,350 would be the effective stack size, so I decided to rip it all in. If we're behind, so be it. I want to see five cards and Tyler does in fact put in the call and he turns over ace four of spades, having us in a world of hurt. We're gonna need to see a queen or a jack at the moment. The turn comes the king of spades, and now we can see a queen, jack, or king to give us the best hand, but it's not to be. The river is the five of hearts, and look at Gabe on the right there. He would have taken on the pot with his set of fives, but uh, I'm not winning it. Gabe's not winning it for sure. Uh, Tyler Bass taking down this $3,500 pot. Hey, what's up, up for T-Bass? That's a nice one right there. Yeah, make sure that's on the pot. Yeah. Now, if you guys remember in the last video, I gave away those super cool crewnecks with my logo on it. This time I wanted to come prepared as well, considering I took away $8,300 from the game. And I decided to make some custom card protectors with the help of Lucky Guard, a really cool subscriber I met in Chicago. And yeah, we came up with the designs and made it happen, gave it away to every player at the game. If you guys wanna make a custom set of your own, I'll leave the link down below and his Instagram as well. This is not a paid promotion, I'm just helping support a subscriber of the channel from my hometown, Chicago. But look how sick these are. Got the jersey effect on the back and then the Wolfgang Bills collab on the front. Go grab one for yourself. All right, after that disaster hand against Tyler, we have to top up an additional $2,000. I pick up Jack 10 offsuit from the hijack. It was a bunch of limps for $10 and then someone decided to make it 20 bucks and uh, everyone put in the call. We're going eight ways to the flop, which comes queen nine four with two spades, giving me an open-ended straight draw. With 160 in the middle, Tyler decides to fire out for $15, getting Greg and the other Tyler on my right to put in the call. I'm going nowhere and I decide to put in the 15 bucks. Sure, I could raise, but uh, let's just call here, try to spike a king or an eight that is not a spade and take down a big pot. A few other players put in the call as well. Off the turn we go, which comes the ace of clubs. Will Tyler decide to continue betting on this turn? Nope, he slows down and checks and Greg takes up the betting lead and fires out for $75. Huge shout out to Greg in this video. He was the only one to wear the Wolfgang poker crew neck I gave out in the last one. So definitely appreciate that, Greg. He fires out for 75, I'm going nowhere, put in the call. Off the river we go, which comes in the action card, King of Hearts, bang, we river the nuts. To make matters even better, Greg fires out for 175. And of course, I have to spring the trap here and now raise it up. I make it $700. I think I would do this with some of my spade draws as well that have bricked off. So even though a raise here looks super strong, I can have some bluffs. Greg is going nowhere, puts in the call. I turn over the cards one by one, and we are gonna take it down versus King Queen, that action card on the river. And you know what that means, Greg Mance, you're gonna get banged. Bang me hard. Bang I can bang him, I can bang him, I can bang him, I can bang him. Greg, I feel right, bad, because he's right. repping the wolf game. <laughs> I got, I got him dirty on the river. Dirty knows it too. He knows it. Oh, that's the worst card that could have come. All right, next hand, pocket eight. Someone makes it $15 to go and everyone puts in the call. We're going 100 ways to the flop here, which gives us an overpair and a 6-5 deuce board in the action checks over to Sam Martin, who fires out for a nearly pot-sized bet of $150. Folds around to me and I put in the call. Dalton now on my left. He took the place of Doyle, AKA the toilet when he busted. And uh, yeah, he decides to raise it up to $415. Definitely been watching a few of my videos going for the check raise in this spot. 
Love to see it from the rookie. The punter puts in the call. Is this a punt? Does he have the best hand? And I'm going nowhere with my over pair. I put in the call as well. Suddenly the pot has ballooned up to $1,400. The turn comes the four of diamonds, bringing in a backdoor diamond draw. Front door club still is just a thing. Any three, however, would have a straight at this point. I start with a check with my over pair. Dalton was all in on the turn, so the action's over to Sam, who decides to check behind, bringing bringing in a board pairing six of hearts. I check it once again because Sam and Dalton's likely holdings have a lot of six in them. And uh, sure enough, Sam goes for a large bet here of $1,215. I don't think I can call and I muck my cards. Sam turns over the winning hand, 6-5 offsuit for the rivered boat. Pocket 8s was a great fold and Dalton mucks his cards, which means Sam is taking down that $2,600 pot. We then try to trap Tyler Bass with uh, turned trips by checking to him on the river. He doesn't fall for it. And look at Ethan's face. I don't think he approves of the way I tried to trap Tyler in that hand. Dude, <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking at me for? What is that? It's a check. It's a trap. So rude. You're not allowed to trap. The DQC. Hey, we got two punters at the table. We got Ethan. And we got Sam. Oh, who's, who's the bigger punter? Raise it up to $80 with ace queen offsuit from the big blind. We get five callers going six ways to the flop, which comes king high, king 10, five rainbow. Tyler on my right decides to fire out for $15. Interesting bet size there from Tyler. I put in the call, a few others do as well off the turn, which pairs the board, bringing the five of diamonds. And look at this, Tyler doubles his bet. Holy smokes, $30 now. I can't go anywhere even though I have only ace high. I put in the call and two others do as well, Sam and Ethan. The river card brings in the queen of hearts, giving me two pair queens and fives. And look at that, Tyler decides to finally slow down and check. The action checks over to Ethan who fires out for $500 and Tyler on my right decides to fold his cards. I have ace queen offsuit here. Is Ethan trying to buy the pot once again? Remember, he had seven deuce offsuit in that first one where he got it through against us. Now I have two pair. It's slightly better than what I have before. So I decide to put my money where my mouth is, put in the call, and Ethan announces a straight. How does he have a straight here? Ace jack or jack nine? He turns over pocket deuces, so obviously he's delirious. Maybe he had one too many whiskey shots earlier on in the night. But either way, we're taking down a $1,700 pot. And the record now stands at 1-1 one one against our good buddy Rampage. Thank you for your money and the, vi the virality. A6 of hearts now from the hijack. Bunch of limps over to Ethan who makes it $75. I put in the call and one other player does as well. We are going three ways to the flop which comes ace king four with one heart giving me top pair and Ethan fires out for $50. I put in the call, we're going heads up to the turn, which comes a 10 of hearts, giving me a backdoor nut flush draw. Pretty great, but Ethan slows down now and checks. I don't think I should be checking behind here. I have a pair of aces, and I have that uh, security blanket with the nut flush draw as well. If Ethan has a hand like king queen or 10 jack or queen 10, he could catch up on the river, so I think I wanna go for a small $150 bet here. And Ethan goes for the check raise to $600. The price of poker has gone up. I'm not gonna make it like 12 or 1500 here. That seems a little bit too aggressive. Just putting in the call seems great to me, and we see a brick on the river, the nine of clubs. Ethan does not slow down. Instead, he overbets the pot for $1,800. Polarizing is one of his specialties, which means he goes for a large bet with a lot of bluffs, as you saw earlier with seven deuce. He's also going to go for a large bet with a lot of his made hands. Considering he raised it to 75 pre, he's going to have ace king, king 10, pocket kings, pocket tens, all of that good stuff. Whereas I only have a pair of aces with a six kicker, which is essentially a bluff catcher at this point. At the end of the day, I decide to fold my cards, not expecting Ethan to show me the good old 6-9 offsuit. Yes, 6-9 offsuit is what he bluffed us with here. The table loves it. Look at Vandy over there in the corner. And uh, the record now stands at Ethan 2, Wolfgang 1. All right, we're going to battle here with Queen Deuce suited. After a bunch of limps, we go off to a flop, which comes Queen Jack Deuce with two hearts. I decided to raise it up to 
$5,500. We're going to get action from two players, Gabe and Tyler on my right. The turn comes out the 10 of diamonds, and I throw out a milky bet of $105, to which Gabe puts in the call. Tyler on my right looks like he's cutting out calling chips before tossing in one $500 chip and announcing a raise, putting me in a weird spot. I have two pair, but the hands that Tyler is representing here are ace king, eight nine, jack ten, queen ten, queen jack, pocket deuces. He just has so many hands. His bluffs really only consist of heart draws and then hands that have a soul nine in it or a king. Just seems a little bit unlikely he's doing this as a bluff, so I make a tight fold. Gabe does as well. The river runs out the king of diamonds just for fun purposes and dirty. Turns over eight nine of diamonds. What a raise there on the turn with the essential nuts. And he's taken down that $1,000 pot. We're playing a four card PLO game but two of the cards are on the top of your head which means everyone at the table can see it. Look at Greg over there with his pocket eights flopping a set turning a boat. We had the nut straight on the bottom board but the turn brought in the third club so I folded and we're gonna lose a little bit more money in this hand. We cap off the night with a few more hundred dollar PLO flips because at the end of the day we're all degenerates at heart. What an epic New Year's weekend this was skiing with my buddy Ethan. Gabe brought us back out for the Buffalo Bills versus Patriots game and uh, it's safe to say I am now a bona fide Bills fan. The game was epic as well and even though I lost a bit of money, it's always a fun time chopping it up with the boys and stoked that Ethan could come with as well. That's going to wrap up this session. Let's bring it to the outro to see how we did. All right, what a trip this was, but uh, let's get to the numbers here. I bought in for 3000 had to top up for an additional 2k after that big hand against Tyler Bass. So I'm in for five, ended up getting out for 2065. So a net loss of 29.35 in around six hours of play. But honestly, I had a blast. Happy to uh, make those card protectors and shout out to Lucky Guard. The link is down below if you want to make a set for your friends as well. Uh, huge shout out to Gabe for the tickets and bringing us back to the game. That was a bunch of fun. Always fun seeing Dalton, Spencer, Dirty. Uh, we also got Greg there, DQ, just a ton of really cool guys. And uh, let's not forget Dawson as well, who uh, for some reason can't find a way to beat me in a hand yet. But we're going to come back out there in the near future. Hopefully they win the Super Bowl and they get a bit more money to give back to uh, myself here. But uh, all jokes aside, huge shout out to everyone there at the game. And thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. Let my editor, Lucas, know what you think of the new way we are showing the action on the table. Good luck in 2024, you guys. This is the first vlog I've posted so far, but got a lot of bangers coming your way. Good luck on the felt, you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace. Okay.